and I'll come back home. Cool. I know say it don't take small why I drop video and that are because I don't they do paid mentorship programs with some of them. So if you're not they interested in the mentorship program, we are going to teach you now one on one. Then just follow the link for the description and then we go take them from there. So but meanwhile, for today's video, I'll show you how to build this profile web page with Bootstrap and JavaScript. I hope say so you're going to enjoy this kind of video because this profile website it makes sense where we we get many things we feel learned for this portfolio website. This is a even get secure form. We say it gets your own recapture. And then I can't drop one nice animation. We say if we add any animation. So I go teach you now and I feel they put correct SVG animations on top of your web pages. So if you check them, you can see a fully responsive website. If you check them for mobile phone, is still fresh if you check on for tablet is still fresh check the menu you click on you can see the menu don't they collapse now if you say make we expand them again like i close this one if you say you want to download the resume if you even download your resume for here this is not just a pdf we say anybody if you click on and download your own resume make we test the form make i show that as the form they even take work so i could just put my name for here so then I go put my email for here. Then I go put my phone number for here. And then make I just drop one small note for here. We say we go take test, say everything done they work correct, correct for us. And because in a secure form, you go need click this I am not a robot. So once you don't validate finish, you can click this send message. It go come redirect you come this thank you page and if you click even this link for here we'll say go carry you go back into the website and by the way this site i go show now how we feel deploy them online so that we feel they work with this site so we say make we check the back end now our form name be this now the time where the form just show be this so make we open them you go see say now the message where the form they give us for here so anybody if you send you a message online are you going to see this message for this back end for here so if you now enjoy all this kind of video no one no forget to just take one seconds one seconds pause the video just like and um, subscribe if you never subscribe already make you start to the code for here soon so as we don't build our header for here make we start to build the hero section so i could just collapse this header for here and we'll go create a new section this section make we give them a class and we could just call this class container for here make i collapse this side now inside this container we want a row now row now where we could arrange everything for our bootstrap and every row they always get a column i go show now so we get this class of row and inside them we will get a column but we'll call this column md4 that means say for medium screen size we won't make it day four four columns for medium screen size so inside this column make we add another div we get class of bg warning and then we go add an image this image i go come out the image from the github and then i could just put the image for here now if you get the image from on splash or if you even now where i get this image but on a few put your own picture since now your portfolio where we they try build for here so so i could just get this image from the github and i go paste them here now we we'll go put the alt just say an image from on splash so that we're gonna say now our image be this so we preview them you go see say this image you see as it be, it makes sense. So make we try and make them smaller because it big where So we go put a class of image fluid. This is now bootstrap class to make our image responsive. So you go day small for here. So then make we say we want to make the image day rounded dash five. This go put that border around. We go put that round border around the edges for here. So so now make we add border radius also for the top. So we'll say we want a border radius dash or rounded five for the top. That will hide that background where we get for there. So for inside our image, go back inside the image, make we give them a padding bottom two and a padding starts than a PS dash two. 
so you could see say we get the padding for the bottom and the start start just mean left and mean right for bootstrap for the container make we give them a padding top and bottom of four and a padding for medium screen five for also top and bottom if we say make we preview them you could see the padding for the top for here so now make we add another div and we will just call this div a class of grid and then we will give them a margin for the top and bottom but we will set that margin to 4 for here so and inside this div we will add a link i could just put this link give them a text of download resume that name for here so right now when you want to host your cv online you're gonna need to upload them as a pdf for somewhere and if you want to do that one you feel host them for somewhere like cloudinary cloudinary in a place where you feel store all your files inside and then you feel just copy the link and paste them inside your website but me i just get this random pdf where i pick from the internet and i just use this file just make sure say the link get dot pdf for the end if you now want copy the link if you just go to github copy the link from there and then if you just paste the link for inside here so now make we set the target to underscore blank and then make we give them a class give them a class of btn and we go set the other class of btn dash warning and you they see say a day yellow for here so make we set them to rounded dash three and we'll give them a shadow and then we go send the font weight to bold for here so make we preview them after that make we give them an attribute of download so that we go fit the download them if we click download for here if we preview them as a pdf file and everything done the work where for here so make we go back scroll down a bit make we add another class for here we could just call this class column md7 and you know say for bootstrap our row they always take 12 columns so the first column will be 4 the second column will be 7 equals to 12 make we add another div we will leave the class empty for now and then we'll go add h1 give them class of my-1 and we could just put some text for here we could just say hi I am Shola Davis. Now, outside the H1, make we add a P. I'm going to give them a class of FW semi bold and a text secondary. We're going to just put some text for inside here, say, waiting if they do. We could preview them. And if they say, I'm saying it makes sense. Make we go back into VS Code. For inside the H1, make we add a span. Carry that name put for inside here. I make we give them a class. I'm gonna just call this class text warning for here. Preview them. You go see say now we get yellow text. So we could go back VS Code. Make we add a text for here of uppercase so that everything go day uppercase for here. And then go back VS Code. I make we give them a class a line height for on top the empty div. And then we go add a text center. And then we go say we want me the text start for medium screen for here so premium you can see i'm say it don't make sense so if we go the upper div we get the column and then one set the offset so we'll set them say make the offset for large screen make it day one and we'll set the order to first and then we'll go set the order for medium screen to last so you go day for first for normal and you go day for medium screen you go the other go day last so we preview make we see the same say the order they change for responsive mode. Make we go back into VS Code, collapse this one, and we go add a P for here. And this P we want the font size make it be dash six. I want a margin dash one. That's margin top and bottom. I will just paste some text for here. And if you copy them from GitHub, paste the text for inside here. Or if you write your own, if you want. So you just say this now so the text go there make we collapse the paragraph make we go under the paragraph make we add a ul and this ul we won't give them a class of list group 
now this list group we could also give them a line height of dash one and then we want to add an li inside the ulo now this li we want a list group class dash item so this dash group dash item we want border zero and we want a ps0 display flex align items baseline and then we also want to give a h6 inside here where we will put the my-0 and w down at the width to 25 and then we will just add h for here now we could create the p for paragraph we will set the p make it not get any margin at all and then we will set the text for here make a preview arm. and you just say now we get our first sample so make we duplicate them a couple of times for vs code just highlight them then copy and paste them one two and three for yes so now now to just change all the content for here i could just carry the video make it go fast fast for here and if you put anything one and one put for here you could save them and preview them and this is a everything day for here so make we go back vs code make we collapse this one and we will just create another div we will give them a class of h stack and another class of column dash gap dash five and we'll say my dash three for the margin at the top and at the bottom then we could just put a link inside this div and we could just give one link for here say facebook link now we'll go add a class we we'll set the class to link dash warning then we we'll could just give the font size to four and we we'll go set the title just say make it a go facebook and make we give them target blank attributes so now make we add a text just for preview sake we go soon add the icon for here so so no worry make we preview them for the browser and this is a we get our fb text with the color yellow for here for inside vs code we want to change this fb text into re icon so we could just need go into the styles.scss file and what we want to be say since we don't already install our bootstrap icon we're gonna need to import them so we'll say at import url now inside this url we want to add the link to our bootstrap icon file so we want the link come from this directory or inside this file straight into the node module so we go they say we want dot dot slash dot dot slash again we go come out us from here from the src folder into the main root folder so we can't say we won't go inside the node module and for inside the node module we will come link come to our bootstrap icon now what we go do for here so save them make we close everything go back into our index.html make we replace the fb with an i tag we will give them a class of bi dash facebook that will give us our icon if we preview them you will see say we get our yellow facebook icon for here go back into vs code make we copy this one and duplicate them any amount of times where you want to put the social network link i will just change all the values we did for here so that it could represent all the other icons and as i do take note all these icons if you now come to this bootstrap website just click on icons and you go if you see all the bootstrap icons if you click for here on top of the x icon for example and if you add those icons even as svg into your project so we could go back our vs code and then i could just start to change all these other values we did for here and if we preview them you can see say we get all the icons where we want nice one so if we say make we check them for responsive screen i could just minimize the screen i go say um say everything stay arranged and our hero section makes sense where we're for here so that nine, what we're gonna need to do? Make we just go back VS Code, make we collapse this one, and then we go start today work on 
the skills section where we're going to use javascript for here so so i'll see you now for the next video